Hi everyone, today I'm really happy to share with you a quick overview of our new diagramming capabilities that are in preview in LensTripper Cloud. So from your LensTripper Cloud console, you have access to a new diagram section, which helps you to visualize all the diagram that has been automatically generated on top of the installation you configured in your environment. And as an example for today, let's have a look on a specific network topology. I think what is really interesting to know first about diagrams is that the data provided by them is the same data you have from inventory. So everything you scan, configure, manipulate, manage from your inventory is the same data that is displayed on top of the diagram. But the more exciting part, of course, are the relations. And we are providing two types of relations. First of all, the one you configured by yourself in the inventory. You can see here an example with these two windows assets and this relation between the two of them. On the other hand, we wanted to help you a bit more about discovering the connection between your assets by providing you automatically detected and discovered relations thanks to certain protocols such as SNMP. These are the ones shown here between these router and these assets. Now let's have a look on the asset itself. For each asset provided on the diagram, we want to first of all provide basic information such as the title, the type, the IP address, but also we want to add an extract of the inventory so that you have access to some detail about the asset itself without leaving the inventory. And on the other hand, for some of them, when you have issues like scanning issues, we want it also to display them on the diagram because we think it is really important for you to know that also from here and not only from the inventory. Now let's have a look on the different features provided by this first release. First of all, the search experience. Using the search, you will be able to uh, find your asset by typing the name, of course, the name of the asset, but you can also do it by typing the IP address of the asset. By doing that, clicking on the result will automatically display it on the diagram and helping you identify it on the map. Another option we want to provide here are the filters. Filters, thanks to certain dimensions here, will help you to um, focus on the content you want on the diagram. For example, here by if I go into my asset types, I want to remove my um, Linux uh, asset, but also my monitors. By doing that, you can see first of all that the diagram has been updated automatically. And then if I just open the diagram itself, well, my filtered assets are still displayed, but are just like displayed as reduced, minimized shape. It's really because, because, in, it's, because in specific situation, it, we think it's really important for you to understand that there is more than just Windows asset connected to that router, for example. But also we know that in some time you know that and you want to filter differently. So we also add the, the option letting you hide the data you don't want to see on the diagram. So here you can see, as a result, I don't have any more my monitors and my Windows asset on the diagram. Other option that is really interesting to know is we wanted also to provide, if you are a user of locations, we also wanted to provide location on the diagram to help you categorize the data displayed on the diagram. And then another option we wanted to, 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 to provide in this first release are what we called orphans. Orphans are assets with unknown relationships. These assets are part of your inventory, but these assets, we, we didn't find any relations. And these ones are not providing relations you configured by yourself in the inventory. So in that specific situation, you can easily find your assets through that list, but also through the search experience, the global search experience. As I said before, if I like 
look after a specific one, this one, I can see here it is displayed as an orphan. By clicking on it, I will be automatically redirected to that specific list. But what's next? Hey, this one, I want it on the map. So I have two options here. First of all, maybe I have some configuration missing in my inventory. SNMP credential missing somewhere. Or maybe I want to create a relation directly on the diagram. And here on my orphan, I can directly create a new relation here and select the one I want here. Like, for example, Canis W01.us. I'm looking for my switch. Okay, connect it to add the new relation waiting some seconds and now I can see that where it is this is the one here my orphan is automatically displayed on the diagram connected to my switch so these are the features we wanted to provide here in this quick overview there is more of course and stay tuned